This month I'm just doing a small one to take it easy on myself. You already know that two years ago or so I gave myself this task of painting at least one animal subject painting each month, which really should be easy because that's kind of all that I paint, but I just really wasn't into it. Because strangers kept mentioning hummingbirds to me, I did already know that the next one was going to feature a hummingbird, but that's kind of all that I had to work with. How do you make a piece of art when you only have a subject and no creative idea to do with it? I could just paint a hummingbird on a branch or a flower like every other artist does, but that wasn't really making me feel inspired. And if I don't feel inspired, then who is this art for? Does the world need another painting of a bird on a branch? Everyone has different drives, different valid reasons to make art, but I personally function best when I think of art as an opportunity to tell a story or to address intrusive thoughts. And I really think this month I was just overstimulated by uh, meeting new people and talking to strangers and dealing with disappointments and excitements and trying new things and not having them work out. I was just giving myself a lot of little tiny problems to find solutions for. And I think a lot of that was kind of blocking my creativity. There was just so much going on in my head that I couldn't see beyond just, okay, hummingbird. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is how artist blocks tend to start, but keeping a deadline works really well for me because your mind can kind of come up with random ideas here and there or intuitive directions, but it isn't until you really analyze it with the context of who you are and what's happening in your life that those deep good ideas really come from. So what I ended up doing is I took a scrap piece of paper with me to the weekend market to tackle this hummingbird problem during the quiet early morning hours where nobody's around. I didn't have any distractions with me, I didn't have internet or YouTube videos to listen to, no podcasts, no Pinterest inspiration boards, none of the tarot cards, it was just me and my swirling insecurities. And the Sunday market itself is a source of swirling insecurities. It's definitely been suffering after its two-year coma, and it's been really hard to try to get back into the rhythm of it and getting the positive mindset that I had at the beginning of 2020. Add to that, the business of art feels so volatile from person to person. You know, some people have such fat seasons that they can't handle their workload, while Others are having such lean seasons that it feels like you'll never ever get another commission again, you'll never get another sale again, and you know, even when it's just a hobby, it feels like you'll never have another great idea ever again. So I sat there with this blank piece of paper and I thought about my hummingbird friend who visits us pretty often. We have a bit of an on-off sort of relationship. I will cook syrup for him regularly but there are seasons where we may not see him come around at all because he has so much to choose from. When the city is, you know, blooming with flowers, the trees are filled with delicious bugs, and the hummingbird is doing good. In my neighborhood, we usually just see the Anna's hummingbird because it doesn't migrate for the winter like others would. And everywhere we walk, we hear that scritchy, scratchy, winding cassette song they sing. <laughs> so there must be so many of these birds hunting for the same spiders, flies, and such all at the same time. And so now winter is coming and all of those wonderful uh, floral scents have long left us. Our neighbors start to get bored with putting out feeders. And so this is about the time when the hummingbird will come back and visit us a lot. But otherwise he just kind of continues on with his life, uh, stubbornly staying here instead of going somewhere nice and, and warm and, and plentiful. The leaner, rainy seasons don't really get him down, he just adapts, he goes with the flow, he spends the extra time building nests and getting ready for the next thing. I was sitting there with this blank piece of paper thinking that's actually pretty inspiring. So I decided to paint the hummingbird not in his glory days with his beautiful uh, flowers blooming open while he drinks from them. Uh, I decided to paint him in his more uncomfortable days. to acknowledge what a badass he can be even when the world is less accommodating to his needs. Which is why I chose a more dried flower kind of landscape feeling for him. I've got the 
uh, fallen maple seeds and the skeletons of the Queen Anne's lace flowers. And I saw this as a perfect opportunity to use some of these metallic paints so that he catches the light just like the real thing. And as usual, this painting will be the art for animals, painting for December, which means that if this painting is purchased during December, 50% of the purchase price will go towards the VCSPCA to help serve our local troubled animals. Thank you so much for watching, and remember to be persistent badass just like Hummingbird.